Really? So yesterday we went out and did a bit of riding in the afternoon after work. Absolutely chucked it down just after we got there. So uh, we decided to go and check out the local byways. Uh, like I said, that was yesterday. So uh, as we left the bike park we were riding at, decided to film some of the bits and pieces that we were doing. And uh, yeah, that's what's coming up now. Well, just done an afternoon of riding after work and basically rained off. Disgusting, horrible rain, and uh, what we're gonna do now is gonna go see if we can find some lanes, like some of the old green lanes, like byways, and uh, do some wet byway driving. So, could be interesting. Just gonna follow my mate Justin, see what kind of uh, trouble we can get into. Hopefully, it's all good before we go home. This is just a little lane out from where we just went. Um, riding so just like a public road but it's got a, quite a cool ford in it uh, i'm in the high laps obviously um it's not really a ford that challenges it even a car though so it's very unexciting but, uh, go drive through that and then uh, follow just and see where we end up not sure what we have in plan i'm uh, pretty much using all terrain slash road tires so Anything uh, more than your average is probably going to get me stuck. First ever attempt at going down a byway. Pretty exciting. If we go down the bottom here and it's just like the end of it, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that was quick.
get a bit paranoid when he stops. Like, I keep thinking, oh no, he's got to the end and he's trapped. And I've got to try and work out how we're going to reverse all the way back out of what we just did. That wouldn't be ideal. Muddy here down here. Guess wherever you go down, you gotta get back up. I ever had to drive up. finished the first one there that was a pretty good one Justin said that's the longest one um, apparently a little way up the road here on the right there is another one not quite so long so uh, let's go give that one a go and see what that one's like if it's open got through that one pretty well good Toyota Highlight Wow, 
Well, it looks like we found the second one. Vehicle driver, please note. The middle section of byway remains unimproved for vehicles. That, um, that doesn't sound good. Four-wheel drive, just in case we need it. Warning, restricted area and forbidden beyond this note. Well, that's interesting. Look pretty hectic down there. This one looks a little more challenging. But it says walkers, horses, and bikes only, no motorized vehicles. Yeah, that's that bit. That's oh, I see. It's probably sensible, isn't it? Let's go and inspect it before we do it. This bit here looks a little bit sketcharama. Yeah, I think we're gonna bin this one off. It's very tight and uh, I kinda wanna be able to make it home tonight. It's so, so tight. I suspect if you're in a Defender or something, or something that's a bit more as a toy rather than your actual... Well, I suppose my car is a bit of a toy for riding. It's this bit that bothers me if we have to go back up. Decided to bin off that one. That one was um, that one's pretty hardcore as it goes. Um, I think they think there's another one around, so we'll go see if we can find that one. I'm gonna put this back in two wheel drive. Let's see if I can get around this corner without falling down this ditch. It's quite a hefty dip here. Wheels in the ditch. Cool, that was almost the scariest part of the whole thing so far. Power! I'm quite enjoying this. We have to go out and buy some off road tyres now. Tires, lift gear, <laughs> winch. See where we end up next. Right, we've decided we're going to go down the one that we've already done, but we're going to go back the other way. It should be fun because that was a pretty cool, that the first one I'd ever done, and now if we do it backwards, that means we've got to go down that really big hill and then go through the walls and then back up the other side. So I'd love to know what happens. Actually, no, no, I don't want to know. 
what happens if someone else is coming the other way? Like, there's no rules over which way around you do these. The last thing you'd want to do is meet like someone else coming the other way because you ain't gonna turn around. You don't have to reverse, but you have to reverse the whole thing. You have to reverse to the very, very beginning. That could be awful. I don't like it. Anyway, we're going back to the one that we've already done. four-wheel drive before we go in there, check this out. Low range on, which is something to do. See what that's. Low range, do it for. That's a bit slower than I thought.
epic run that one. I definitely want to come back and do that one again. Get some of the other guys out that have got traps and 4 by 4 Well, that's the first one we did again, backwards, which is equally as much fun. And uh, there's only three runs around here, so the second one was a bit of a fail. It was far too scary for us. Um, but Justin has found a third one that we're going to go and have a look. So we'll see if it's as good as the uh, the first one we did, um, or if it's another one that's a bit scary. Let's see how we get on. Maybe we can't find the third one. Or maybe we should quit while we're ahead. Let's see what Justice has found talking. Well, we couldn't find the beginning of this third one, so we found the end, or we think we know where the end is. Oh yeah, look, Brickyard Lane, that's the other end of the lane that we were just on. Yeah, so what we'll do is see if we can find the other end of it and see what happens. See what we can find. Well, we think we found another one. Pedestrians, horse riders, and cyclists in the road. Mm. Need in two-wheel drive. We got stuck. Well, actually, we didn't get stuck. Justin's car needs to go on a diet. He couldn't fit over the uh, bridge. Um, I think what we're going to do is pull out of here and uh, call it a night, I think. We, uh, we've escaped so far, unless Justin falls over that bank and goes into the river. So, yeah, let's call it an end. All right, crazy Austin Power style three point turn completed. We're, uh, like I said, we're going to call it a day. Quick whilst we're ahead. 
Um, Justin's done a couple of bar weight things before. This is still my very first ever attempt. Um, I think we did the hardest one first. That one, um, it's a bit of a tight squeeze on that bridge. Probably done um, for a reason to stop the ball going free, perhaps. I'm not really sure. But yeah, call it the end of that video. Um, first ever attempt in uh, going and doing a little light off roading. Quite enjoyed that. Um, hopefully, that video wasn't just completely awful, a bit different to the usual Supra, Toyota Supra content that I've bung up. Um, yeah, drive out of the rest of this byway and uh, get up on the main road and back home. If you uh, if you like that, give it a like. If uh, you want to comment, or if there's anywhere around the bottom of sort of southeast that you recommend going to. Um, I think I'm up for giving it a bit more of a exploration. I know Justin's been up for it. He's um, he's raised his car up a little bit and he's got some pretty cool tyres on there so he's pretty much set to do most things. This is pretty much a standard Toyota Hilux 2.5 litre or 2.4. Um, she's rocking 202,000 or 203,000 miles um, on the clock so yeah I mean Will blow up in the middle of a, a byway somewhere and I'll be completely not stranded but hey thanks for watching and uh, like I said comment if you want to see a bit more of the old uh, Hilux out and about on the byways and then um, I'll see if I can get Justin to come along because he's, uh, he's he knows about this sort of stuff so yeah tyres are completely muddy I can feel it on the tyre man now tyres are shredded um, not shredded what's the word sort of clogged up with mud you hear it clunking around I take it easy for a little bit yeah, well, I'll stop rambling. Thank you very much for watching. If anyone actually got this far, like and subscribe. And um, see you in another one. So there you go. Just got back. Managed to get back in one piece. Pouring down with rain. But no, the truck did quite well. Did the whole of that with the uh, bike hanging out the back.